One of the best available deductions for small business owners is the home office deduction. This allows business owners who use a portion of their home as an office to write off some indirect and direct expenses as a business deduction. But before I get started and in going into the video, I um, wanted just to let you know that none of the items that I discuss should be taken as tax advice. Uh, the purpose of the video is only to provide some uh, general information about the home office deduction. Um, any specific questions should be directed to your tax advisor or feel free to, to give us a call or schedule a consultation with us. Um, our information will be given at the end of the video. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, what do small business owners need to do in order to meet the requirements? Uh, the code states that a portion of the home must be used regularly and exclusively for your business and it must meet one of the following qualifications. Uh, the space must be used as the principal place of business for any trade or business of the taxpayer or as a place of business used by patients, clients, um, or customers. Or finally, a separate structure which is not attach, attached to the dwelling unit that is connected to the trade or business that the taxpayer is in. Um, before we go any further, I think it's important to, to define what uh, regular and exclusive means within uh, tax law and, and the regulations. Uh, since these are two important things that we need to know um, in order to uh, find out if we qualify to take the deduction or not. So unfortunately, uh, regular, regular use is not really defined anywhere. Uh, specifically in the regulations, it says that um, regular, regular use, um, it really depends on the facts and circumstances of each case. So it's really up to you as the taxpayer to make sure that you have sufficient proof to meet this standard. Now the definition of exclusive use is a little bit more clear. Um, in order to meet this, you need to be able to use your business space 100% of the time for, for business related purposes. If there is any use that is um, personal in nature, the deduction is disallowed. So ideally, you would want a room set aside as your um, office space. The room should be free of any personal items, such as a bed. Um, if you don't have a room and you need to use some sort of other space in your home, such as the living room, uh, be sure to use some sort of partition to separate off your business space from your personal space. So there was a taxpayer who was actually disallowed this deduction because she had set up a, a business space within her living room, but things were so kind of uh, mixed together that she was disallowed the deduction. So again, make sure that there is some sort of partition or separation uh, from your living, personal living space from your business space, and that will just add an extra layer of protection um, when you're claiming the deduction. So now what kind of deductions are available to you? So a taxpayer can deduct a portion of the indirect expenses to the home office and 100% of the deductions that are directly related to the space. And indirect simply means that these are general, general expenses attributable to the whole home. So here's a list of some of those common indirect expenses. These items would include mortgage interest, real estate taxes, depreciation on the home, insurance on the home, casualty losses affecting the entire residence, utility services, and general home repairs. The way to calculate the deduction for indirect expenses is most commonly done by finding the square footage of the portion used for business and dividing that number by the total square footage of the home. The result is then multiplied by the total of the indirect expenses to get your allowable deduction. And here's a quick visual example of um, how that will all work. So in this example, uh, say the, the square footage of the office space is 100 square feet. The total square footage of your home is 1,000 square feet. When I divide 100 by 1,000, my result is 10%. This means that 10% of my home 
is dedicated to my home office. Let's also assume that when I add up all of my indirect expenses, I get a total of $3,000. So my allowable deduction is $300. Before I close, uh, this deduction is only allowed if your business is profitable. If you are currently operating at a loss, you will not be eligible to claim this deduction. However, any home office deduction that you're unable to claim uh, for this year, that amount can be carried forward to the following tax year to offset any profit that you may have. So as you can see, there is a lot involved uh, with this type of deduction. It is important to speak to a tax advisor or to give us a call um, to make sure you meet these requirements when you're setting up your home office. If you have additional questions, click here to book your free no obligation consultation. Also be sure to sign up for our monthly newsletter and subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly updates. If you have a tax question you would like us to answer, please leave it in the comments section below. Thank you.